Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. And the topics for this class are user defined functions and some example programs. Friends, in the last class we have discussed the library functions as well as the user defined functions. Let us recall uh, the user defined functions. So they are not available in C library but we are going to define the functions as and when we need them. Right? So here is an example of a function uh, where we have declared the welcome function at the top and we have defined that function at the bottom below the main of. So here I want to clear something for you. So the function definition is here right this is called the function definition this is called the function declaration this is definition and this is declaration function declaration is telling the compiler that you are going to expect the the definition of the function later in this program right so the function declaration ends with the semicolon whereas the function definition is going to contain the entire code that the function is going to perform so the actual code resides in the function definition but in the declaration section we have just uh, give the function return type void is the function return type and the function name and uh, the function parameter inside the inside the pair of brackets and the semicolon so this is the function declaration we can also call this as function prototype right and this is the main function where the function call to this function lies so whenever the compiler or the control comes to this place it will jump to this statement where the definition is there and execute the entire code right so this is the function call or you can call it as calling function this is called function. So today we are going to perform this practically and you will understand how the function works exactly. Right? So friends in this program I am going to uh, show you how, the, how we can define our own function and how, how the function execution happens. Right? So before going to def before going to define the function first i have to declare the function above i mean above the void main statement right so my function name would be void welcome like this uh, with the semicolon at the end right so after this void main function i mean uh, the exactly below the function we are going to define the void welcome function here so remember here we should not put the semicolon because we are going to define the function this is not the end of the statement right so here I can put whatever I want so this is entirely like a void main function I mean only the name is different and the return type is different you can do whatever you want to do or what all we can do inside the void main we can do here as well printf hello welcome this is a user defined function right so here uh, I'll get inside the void main so this is the void main function so what I must have here is uh, first let me add the basic function call clear screen this is also a function call which clears the screen and here uh, first I'll print the statement so whatever I want to print here I can have and here I'll place the function call to that function so remember uh, while having the function call while writing the function call uh, we just have to write the function name and the pair of brackets 
and a semicolon at the end. If you are passing anything to the function, uh, I mean any parameter to the function, we'll place those parameters inside here. If you are not passing anything, we are not putting anything there. So uh, we'll all learning. So we'll be learning all that in the later program. Let's go and run this. Control F9. Hello, this is main function. Hello, welcome. This is a user defined function. So I'll show you how the execution works. So if you're using Turbo C, let's uh, just use the F7 function key from your keyboard F7. So it will trace out your program. So it 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 goes. Uh, it adds a break comp uh, while compilation it adds a break at every line so when we press the next f7 key it will move on to the uh, next statement to execute f7 f7 so it has printed that line f7 so now it is encountered the welcome function it will directly jump to the function so just observe carefully f7 so so the the compiler the the control jumps to the function here so this will be printed now f7 so this is the end of the function f7 it moves back to get ch and we are at the uh, screen so whenever it encounters the get ch we will get uh, the output screen to see right so this is how the function uh, works so in this program i'll be demonstrating uh, one more function which can perform the addition of two numbers. So here we are going to define a separate function uh, which can perform the addition. Uh, but from the main, we are going to call that function and that function will perform the addition for us. Right? So let's go and do that. So before uh, going to define that function, first we uh, declare that function. Right? So void. So I will call that function add. Okay, that's all right. That is fine. So below the void main function, I'm going to define right here. So void add here. This is the function definition. So here I can write whatever I want. So the same thing I can do uh, what I can do inside the void main int a equals to 10 comma b equals to 10 comma sum so this can perform the addition sum equals to a plus b and print the result you can also have scanf functions to take the input from the users i'm not going to do that so you can also do here as well uh, sum is equal to percent d slash n comma here I should have uh, sum right so this is the end of the addition function so let's go here so every function I told in the example every every function should return something to the calling function here uh, it has nothing to return to calling function so let's simply say void a return zero return zero means we are returning nothing to the calling function or zero to the calling function CLR SCR and here I'll call the function add empty pair of brackets that's it control F9 there is a warning showing me so what is that warning so the warning is void functions may not return a value because here I am using the void function, right? The function return type is void. Void means it has nothing uh, to return. So I can skip this statement in the case of void. So void, uh, void has nothing to return. Void means uh, it's an empty data type. So it should not return anything. So though I can have this return zero, so it does not give me any compilation error uh, because when I press Control F9. So it will give me the right output. So I should skip uh, syntactically skipping the statement in case of void is correct. So we should not use return zero in the case of void. Now I shouldn't get any warnings, right? So now, so there is no, uh, I mean, there is no warnings now, right? So now, I'm, now it is perfectly all right. So this is how we can achieve the user defined functions, right?
Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.